Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you guys my opinion and or my experience using the Diva Cup and the Soft Cup. So I used the Diva Cup for about a year. Yeah, I want to say I used it last year and I was really excited about it because I knew that it can hold a lot more and obviously it was reusable so that's why I really liked it. Um, and I have the Paragard, the IUD, so that makes your flow a lot heavier than I guess the Medina one is it Medina I think so which has hormones and it stops your period from what I've heard but I want I didn't want hormones or anything to be messing with my body so I went for the Paragard even though I know it releases some kind of copper which is not very convincing to me anymore so I do plan on having another kid soon so I don't know if after that I'm gonna get the Paragard again or switch over to the hormonal one just because at the beginning of when I got the Paragard, it was so bad. Like, my flow was really heavy and I was never used to that. I was used to not having my period as often. I would have it like every three months sometimes. I actually liked in and enjoyed using both my baby sleeping. So, in case you hear snoring, that's her. Okay, so, I'm going to start with a Diva Cup. It comes in this little bag where you can store it and then it was around, I don't know, like 30 something dollars, almost $40. I ended up getting this Diva Cup and for me it didn't fill up all the way but I noticed that it just wasn't fitting in well, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of videos if you guys are interested in knowing how to like put this inside. But I mean, the easiest way that I found was folding it like this, like a little like pushing it in and then just kind of folding it like that and then that's how I kind of would push it in um, and then it would pop open kind of sort of for me it didn't always pop open it felt like it always stayed like this inside so I had to like push it push it around so it actually um, opened itself I did feel it um, but like I said I kept feeling like I had leaks and I tried like moving it around I tried different things but it wasn't working out for me so I was like Ugh. I was getting frustrated with this and so I know there's different brands and other different sizes so I was about to try them but when I found out about the soft cup which is what I'm really loving right now and it's because these are even though they're reused um disposable I actually use it the entire time of my cycle I just wash it um with warm water and soap and then I'm good to go for my entire I have my period a whole week long so I just use it the entire week I'm not gonna switch every day from one of these I just wash it and then clean it and then use it all over again I haven't had any issues with that um, but yeah so I use the diva cup didn't really like it um, and I then I switched over to the soft cup which I ended up liking a lot more I haven't well, I did. Last month, I ended up having a heavier flow, like in the beginning, because it's been two years since I've had the IUD. So then, my whole flow is a little, like, I have it every month, but like one month it's heavy, one month it's not so heavy. And then, recently this year, my flow was kind of going back to normal, finally. So it wasn't as heavy anymore. But those few months, oh my gosh, I had to switch tampons like every hour because I felt like that was it like I was it was slipping out and I was gonna stain myself and so I felt very uncomfortable during those times so that's when I got the diva cup and then I ended up switching now this year to the soft cup which I've been using I bought the pack and I think the pack of these come in 14 and I mean if I only use one one once a month then I'm more than good to go for the entire year and they weren't even that expensive um they might have been like $15 or, or something like that. So I ended up using those and I really like it especially because this is the game changer I guess for me was that with these inside they go all the way inside I guess in there. How do I explain this? Mm, okay so the way these work is you squeeze them and then they slide in which I think are a lot easier than the Diva Cups. And so once you squeeze it in, you go in, and then it sits in a way that it's kind of tilted like this inside. So it's supposed to be catching it. I mean, the only thing is like, it's not like this is going to expand and fill up. I mean, once it's kind of filled up like this, it can only sustain that much amount of 
blood and so once it's full it will start leaking you'll feel it um so for me that was like not a problem because I don't have a very heavy flow unless once in blue moon and then then it gets annoying because then I have to like go clean it a lot more frequently but other than that I won't have to check it or clean it um until the end of the day so I switch it in the morning I put it on and then I don't worry about it till the very late at night that's when I switch it wash it clean it put it back in there so in total it was two times a day instead of like having to go every six hours or five hours or three hours so depending on your flow for me I love it especially because the I guess the reason that a lot more people like it and what I've seen on YouTube is that obviously you can have sex with it because it sits in a way that it's higher than where their penis goes in through so it kind of slides right up below it I guess right below it and so there's no clash I mean if you're concerned about staining or anything I guess if you have a heavy flow you would have to go and clean it out first right before so there's no messiness going on but besides that I mean if I'm not on a heavy flow and you're not a heavy flower then I guess you should be fine I've done it nothing he doesn't even notice unless you're doing some weird I don't know positions that he might feel it you might feel it I don't know um, but for the main part it, it sh should be fine you shouldn't feel anything he shouldn't feel anything and it's like he doesn't even notice sometimes when I'm on my period because I'm like, well, why would I tell him? And so since I did it on purpose to really find out if he could feel it, because sometimes he would be like, I feel it. And I'm like, just that's just because I told you I'm on my period and I have it in there. So, yeah, so it just depends. But it's very comfortable. I love it because I don't have to deal with it the entire day because then you feel all icky when you're wearing pads or tampons. And like I said, the Diva Cup is a great choice because it's reusable and you don't have to worry about buying a bunch of stuff every month. But I have leakage and you can't have sex with this thing on and with this one you can. So this one was a lot better for me and I noticed that a lot of people don't know about it either. So I actually got curious about it because I saw one of these boxes at Walgreens and I was like, what is a soft cup? And then I went on YouTube and I found more videos and more reviews and I just wanted to share my experience because I mean a lot of people don't know about soft cups and I think they're awesome and for the price you can't beat it um so yeah although obviously won't work if I guess you're a virgin or you haven't never put anything like inside like tampons or anything like that then I guess this will be really awkward because you'll probably think it gets stuck in there it doesn't it has nowhere else to go but again you have to like stick your finger to be able to pull it out and so if you're not comfortable and you're still feeling kind of awkward about your body then it might not be a great choice for you so yeah this is my opinion I think soft cups are better than um, the table cup but again you have different choices nowadays and I think it's just great that we have so many different options and reusable options as well because I feel like tampons and pads even though pads I know are a great way to start when you're younger I think it is just as bad as like diapers for babies so we use a lot of them where there's a lot of women out there so I think it's a lot going to the trash and stuff like that so I'm going to try to buy the reusable one and see if there's a difference but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing and I really like these I usually could recommend these to my friends that don't know about them and so I mean it's not hard it's not gonna get lost you just clean it you put it in there and then it's fine you'll still be able to reach it with your finger so it's not like it's gonna get I don't know I was scared too the first time I tried I got scared but it's fine <laughs> okay so that's it I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys next time bye